some stats that it's important to remember. Nearly one million U.S. military personnel have served at least once in Iraq or Afghanistan. Some of them, of course, have gone on many tours. Of that number, nearly 23,000 have been wounded, thousands more wounded outside the combat zone. All of our veterans come home to different circumstances, and some of them need a little help. We get the story of one of them tonight from NBC's Bob Faw. Never, not on his best day or worst, did Kyle Burleson ever imagine being so crippled or fortunate? I mean, it's kind of overwhelming, I guess. Growing up hunting in Louisiana woods nearby or playing high school football, he wanted nothing more than to enlist in the Army, and he served with distinction in Iraq until August 2004 when a sniper's bullet shattered his spine. It was hard for them to tell me that he was paralyzed forever. Just 21 with two children, now a quadriplegic. Well, I didn't do anything special. I just got shot. But last winter, convinced that Kyle Burleson is special, a group which builds homes for severely wounded veterans began building one for him. I think it's important that we let them know that we care about them. It was a labor of love, local builders donating many of the building materials. He's not a hero for getting shot. He's a hero for volunteering. The windows, supplied by corporate sponsors, shrubbery from a local church group, all the furniture, the granite, given in gratitude. For somebody that's fighting for my freedom. Giving Kyle Burleson freedom to do more and be more than anywhere else. It makes things a lot easier. It's just uh, another hundred a million good blessings all added into one. Here, where a victim is also a beneficiary, and the cruelty of war is partially offset by the kindness of strangers. Bob Fall, NBC News, Spring Hill, Louisiana. And that's our broadcast for this Tuesday. Thank you for being with us. I'm Brian Williams. Good night.